Hi folks, Sean Stratton here for another team building tip of the week. This week I'm going to talk about the team recipe. This is an activity I do just about at the beginning of just about every team group I work with. And it's especially important to do this activity if it's a new team that's coming together. But it can also be done at any point in, the, in a team's process. And the team recipe is basically coming up with a creed guidelines that your team, specifically your team, want to live by. It's ground rules made up by you that your team wants to live by. And I'll go through it briefly, but I'll also include an attachment that has an outline of how to do this activity with your own team. But the main purpose of this is for the team to come up with the ideals that they want to live by for their, for their specifically. How you start off this activity is you get people in the small groups, depending on the size of the, the larger group you have, but get people in the small group from three to five people, and you get them brainstorming about the best team they ever belonged to. The team that they worked with, that they had the time of their life. They were extremely successful. They might not have won the gold, but they achieved a lot along the way, and they had a good time. Could be a choir, could be a sports team, could be a business team, could be a board you sat on any kind of group experience that was an incredible activity. So brainstorm for a few minutes what elements led to that team being so successful. I'm brainstorming, you don't want to rule out any possibilities, just get in small groups. A lot of times I'll give out flip chart sheets of paper and you'll just write them down as they come to your mind. What made that experience so successful? After a few minutes of collaborating and, and coming up with your list, I usually bring the group together as a whole and we'll make a master list of these elements. So we'll make a big master list, again, throwing out more as they come up because things come to mind as, as you hear other ideas. We come up with a master list, and over the next 20, 25 minutes to half hour, we'll whittle down that list, and we'll see where we can combine elements, and we'll see elements that maybe we want to take out, or elements that we want to leave in for sure. Ideally, you want to get this number down to around five. Below five is great, a couple above five is okay, but you don't want to have too many elements on your team recipe. And there can be subheadings. Just take communication. Communication is a, a classic one that shows up on every, on every team recipe, but what about communication? You can have some subheadings on that. Have open feedback. Have regular meetings to check in on energy levels different things that you can do for subheadings. You want to keep that list, like I said, around five items. Once you've come up with your five items, you want to make this, uh, put your master creed or your master contract on a nice flip chart or uh, on a nice poster or however you want to have it to display in the office. So write a nice good copy of it, get someone that has fancy handwriting or fancy drawing and draw some pictures and, and put the elements down on the flip chart paper. Once you're finished this, the most important part is that you have everybody actually sign the contract because this is actually what we call a full value contract. Everybody's agreed to this. This is elements that we want to live by for our team. Once everybody has signed the contract, then you want to bring it back to the office or some place that your team meets regularly and ideally post it. I've had people get their flip chart framed, flip, flip chart piece of paper framed and, and put up in the wall or in the quarters somewhere or in the boardroom, somewhere where everybody can see it fairly regularly. Some people have also had it went to the printers and had it shrunk down uh, to regular exercise paper size and everybody posts it on their wall in their office. And the idea of this contract, it's an open contract. The idea of it is that it can be revisited and changed at any time that everybody agrees upon. It's not a contract that's supposed to be put in the cupboard and forgotten about. And I would say at most quarterly uh, or at least quarterly and, and potentially even once a month that you actually revisit this contract. When you have meetings of your team maybe once a month or, or once a quarter break out that contract and go down each element line by line and see how you're doing. You can give yourself grades as a team. How are we doing on our communication? How are we doing on our trust? And you'll see from over the year how you're doing on your elements of all your team recipe. You'll know where to work on. Things that you're doing really well, and things that 
hey, we're not doing so well here. We need, we need to focus on this element. We need to work on this a little more. This contract is a great uh, sounding board. And like I say, it's an open contract. Things might come up over the time that, hey, I think we really need to add this in. Or, you know, this point that we put in, we thought it was going to be a great point, but it's not really working out. It's not part of our team. Uh, let's take that out. And that's okay, too. So again, it's called the Team Recipe. It's a full value contract that you make for your team, guidelines that you want to live by. I highly recommend doing it. If you have any questions, let me know. Email address is on the website, and there's a PDF below of the exact elements of how to run a great Team Recipe exercise. Until next time, keep your teams together, keep reaching for your potential. This is Sean.